you know, why are they going after people who tell the, you know, who tell the truth about all sorts of things? I mean, in, from the banks to the, um, you know, to war to just sort of government transparency. So secrecy serves those who are already in power. And we are living in an era of secrecy that coincides with an era where the government is doing also a lot of things that are probably illegal and unconstitutional. So those two things are not coincidences. It's very clear that this technology has been developed not for small countries overseas, but right here for use in the United States by the U.S. government. The problem with the spying program is it's this sort of long, slow expansion, you know, going back to the Nixon administration, right? Obviously, it became big after 9-11 under George W. Bush, and Obama has continued to expand it, and the problems have slowly grown worse and worse. But there's never been this moment you can point to and say, okay, we need to galvanize opposition today because today is when it matters. And said it's mattered for The prosecution, in my estimation, of Aaron Schwartz was about sending a particular laser-like message to a group of people that the Obama administration sees as politically threatening. And that is essentially the hacker, the information, and the democracy activist community. And the message that the, the Obama administration wanted to send to that particular community was, in my estimation, we know you have the ability to make trouble for the establishment. And so we are going to try to make an example out of Aaron Schwartz to scare as many of you as possible into not making that trouble. And the government said, oh, the legal opinions we're using to legalize the spying program are also classified. So we can't even tell you which laws we're using to spy on you. You know, every time they can say, oh, this is another instance of cyber 